stoking the fire makes the steam start pumping. Slowly, steel begins to crank. This is the number seven locomotive. The locomotive is a 1929 Baldwin 282 wheel configuration. And it was used in the logging industry in the Alberni Valley. But in the late 1990s, they refurbished it and we've been running it here. So. Top speed, I think we could go 15 miles per hour on our track. More often though, we're about 10 miles an hour. And it's a uh, six miles track, or just about six uh, or 10 kilometers. And uh, we can do that pretty handily. And as the locomotive chugs down the track, the arms begin to pump, shoes hit the pavement, and muscles start to sweat. This is Brian Callender and his group of competitive runners. We like to challenge ourselves with uh, different distances, and we also like to challenge ourselves with, with different, uh, you know, bettering our times over certain distances. I actually started running back, uh, even just in high school, but didn't take it too seriously until doing my physio degree down in Australia, and, and that's when I started running more fun runs and, and training regularly. Now, both the train and the runners have momentum. However, one is based on steam and steel, while the other is based on pure willpower. This raises an interesting question. Who would win a race? <laughs> well, I'm a little biased. I'd say steam. <laughs> But uh, we're limited to 10 miles an hour. We're definitely carrying a lot less weight, but once this thing's momentum gets trucking along, it, it carries it carries that really well. So we both have our pluses and minuses. Well, there doesn't seem to be a definitive answer on this one. That's why the train operators and local runners have come together to organize the great steam train race, the number seven challenge. This is the um, first time we've ever done anything like this, and we're really looking forward to working with Brian and the rest of the runners in the in the, our community and from outside the community, obviously. And we think uh, we're going to be able to give them a good uh, run for their money, literally and figuratively. You know, we're, we're going to show them who, who rules the track, right, is what's going to happen here. Actually, Neil's uh, graciously allowed all the people who register for the race to uh, to get a family pass with part of that registration, which is only $10. I wish him all the best with his train and that the, the train runs smoothly and well, but I think the, the best runners here are, are gonna beat him. For more information about the number seven challenge, the great steam train race, contact Brian Callender or visit the registration webpage to sign up. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.